the next icon which you can do is this new stat icon. It's not complicated but quite complex, made of multiple covers, so it will take some time to recreate it. Start with our base shape, base state, move index to the new stand. And you may think that it's made of pure white color, but if you look closely you can see that there is a shadow going on in here and on the other side. So instead of using instead of using white color for the fill, we will use a gradient fill. Set the first color to white, last color to white, but the middle one will be some light gray one, maybe just a little bit darker than this, like this. We'll move it to the, this spot and move the last white stop more to the right, so it will create this jump from one color to another and we will make it maybe make this gray even lighter like this so this is our base shape we will move it over the icon show the selection pane and hide it for a minute or two i'll make those panes smaller so we can see more of the icon and zoom in to the maximum level which is 500 percent locate the icon and we will start from the bottom to the up so we will start with the news newspaper so insert new rectangle move it away so we can guess the right color we will set the line to no line and the fill color to some little bit lighter than this move it on the right spot hide it we will insert another rectangles which will form those articles. So we will set also line to no line and the fill to dark gray. Maybe this one. Make it like this. Duplicate it. Maybe duplicate it even more. We don't need to care about those parts because they will be hidden below other. But we will probably duplicate it even one more time. And we will not use this font and this text, we will instead make a plain darker rectangle instead. So it's not tied to English. I will show the background rectangle, group everything together, rename it to Moose, and hide this group, and continue with this art cover. So again, insert new rectangle no line and the fill will be a little bit more to the yellow so move this a little bit to the right like this move it at the right spot hide it for now insert new maybe triangle this will, that will be this white one insert new circle one it's almost the same color and insert new square that is draw a rectangle with the shift key set the color to red and we will also make this label as only a rectangle maybe make it dark red or maybe darker yellow so it will be not visible like this show the background rectangle group everything together rename it to art and hide this group for a minute. Okay, continue with the travel. So insert new rectangle, blue color, a little bit darker and less saturated. So we'll change more. Let's set more colors. Lower the saturation just a little bit. It's also almost the same color, so this should be fine. Hide this rectangle for me. I will probably hide also this format pane for a while so we can see more of the selection pane and more of the icon. Now I will insert this plane which is in the WebDings font. So insert new symbol from the WebDings font. And that is this plane. Set the outline to no outline, fill to no fill. Font color to white, rotate it a little like this, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Now we want this 
triangle shape but it's continue more to the bottom so we'll probably use this another shape which is maybe this pentagon one draw it like this, rotate it 90 degrees make it wider and adjust this top size like this we'll adjust the size later with the rectangle but for now we'll change the outline to no outline and fill to this blue color which we will make lighter like this we'll show this rectangle adjust the size of this pentagon move this text box over those two shapes and maybe even insert a new rectangle to form this label that is no outline and the fill will be some darker blue one maybe this one show everything group everything together rename it to travel and hide this group so the last thing which remains is this sports magazine cover again insert a new rectangle no outline green fill a little bit more to the yellow and a little bit lighter that is too much too much saturated this one hide this rectangle and now we want this ball so we will probably draw it in a bigger size insert new ellipse try to match the fill color there's some not very saturated yellow maybe this insert new shape and that would be this arc draw it with the shift key pressed rotate it 45 degrees move it like this do it, duplicate it, rotate it again, move it like this. Group everything together and resize it to the final size. You can see that the width of the line is not resizing, so it's almost perfect. We'll just need to set the outline color to white. For these for those outlines, we will use this trapezoid shape and because it will be with the white outline we don't need to carry out the exact positions because it will be invisible on this part so we will make it just like this outline to white fill to no fill maybe the outline width should be smaller like this then we will insert a new line that will be this line with the shift key drawn same bit and one more line going to the bottom like this again white fill same width and for this shape we will reuse this trapezoid copy paste it make it bigger and we can do it with the shift and right arrow key on the keyboard like this adjust the size like this and we will show this rectangle I can see that the color is very different I will make it darker I'll probably use this standard color show this rectangle and now we want to adjust you know delete those parts of the trapezoid so we will edit points insert new point in here with the control key pressed and do it the same in here click on this point so like open path delete this point this point and this point the last thing which we want to add is of course this magazine cover label so we'll insert a new rectangle make it make it size like label shape fill to white and outline to no outline show everything select everything group it together rename it to spart so maybe yes now group everything together it is sports travel art news and the rounded rectangle group it together rename it to news stand 
icon and move it to the first page.